I would now like to show you. This is this is a magic trick that I like to perform for people at fancy dinner parties and cocktail parties. Um, I don't normally. This is not like a casual trick. I do this when people are dressed up in like tuxedos and everything's very fancy and proper. This is what I do. Please tell me you didn't just do that. <laughs> I worked out Search and Destroy right around 1997 and uh, I'd first met Larry Jennings who was one of Vernon's top students and one of the hardest core card magicians in the world right around 1996 the first time I ever went out to California I was brought in you know to Larry's house and Larry at that point was getting a little bit older and he wasn't too well so he was pretty much you know stuck in his big easy chair and so I was kneeling in front of his chair trying to show him the stuff and which was the great angle for me you know because I was freaked out and nervous because I was meeting Larry Jennings so I remember the week before that I was doing this stuff for my mother and uh, and I was just trying to do these passes and things so that they wouldn't flash and my mom was just like I don't know you're flashing I can see it you know and I was on the phone with my friend Gordon Bean at that point who was the one who really introduced me to Larry and my mom took the phone and said, Gordon, does he have anything that doesn't flash that he could show Larry Jennings? Because I don't know if this, uh, I don't know if this thing is gonna work out. You know, <laughs> you know, I don't know if Larry's gonna go for it. I was like, Ma. Larry Jennings was one of the greatest card handlers of the last century. And he was a student and close friend of the professor, Di Vernon, who we call the professor because he did more to influence sleight of hand, close up magic in general, than any magician in the last century. Now one of the great pleasures of my life was that when I went to college at UNLV, I got to drive out to Los Angeles for the weekends and hang out with Larry Jennings. Now one of Larry's coolest tricks, and one of my favorites to practice at that time, was called the searchers. And it was an effect that was original to Larry. It was a slow motion sandwich effect. So he would start with a king on the top of the deck and another on the bottom. And he would give the cards a riffle and the kings would disappear and he would spread the cards and they would have moved a little bit toward the inside of the pack. And then he would riffle the cards again and the kings would move down again. And then he would riffle the cards again and they would move still closer together. And then again. And finally the kings would be sandwiching one card in the center of the deck. Now that card wasn't the selected card, but then Larry would change the card into the selection. This was a cool trick. It was fun to practice, and I used to do it for hours on end. And the thing about this trick was while card men loved it, it was brutal. There were glimpses, there were culls, there were switches. And in addition to that, depending on how you wanted to do the trick, there were somewhere between three and five different cover passes. Oh, and there was also a multiple side steal. So this was like one of the hardest tricks I ever came across. Now when Larry showed it to his teacher, the professor, Di Vernon, Vernon's response was pretty clear. He said, Larry, that's the worst trick I've ever seen. And Larry got offended and vowed never to return to the magic castle. And I'll tell you right now, this story has been told to me and it was told to someone else before me. So it's like a long game of telephone. I make absolutely no representation that this is historically accurate. So Larry's at home 
for one month, maybe two months. But finally, he gets a little thirsty. And in those days, even if Vernon was angry and you were angry at Vernon, if you were a friend of Vernon's, you got to drink for free at the Magic Castle. So Larry went back to the Magic Castle and he was sitting in his favorite chair right by the staircase in a little nook where you could sort of be hidden from everyone walking around the club. Now Vernon's seat was over here, maybe about 30 feet in the opposite side of the room. It's possible for two people to go to the castle for 30 years in these two different spots and never speak to each other. And at this point, that was Larry's intention. He was angry and his feelings were hurt. Larry's drinking. He's not going over. Enter one of Vernon's friends who I won't name here because it may incriminate him. He walks up to Larry and he says, Larry, why aren't you sitting with your teacher, Larry? Show respect to your teacher. And Larry says, I'm offended. I'm not going over there. He hurt my feelings. Now this fellow says, Larry, he's sorry. <coughs> he's sorry, Larry. You should go hang out with your teacher. Be a good student. <coughs> so Larry takes the bait, walks over, sits with the professor and goes, well, professor. And the professor says, Larry, do you remember that trick you showed me a few months ago? And Larry says, yeah. And Vernon said, Larry, it's the worst trick I've ever seen because Vernon knew that it's almost impossible to have a good magic trick with five passes in it. Good magic tricks just aren't built that way. Now what's so wonderful about Search and Destroy and made it so fun for me to show Larry in the first place is that the spectators do the passes. Everyone sees the passes. In fact, you could say the passes flash in a major way and no one knows and no one cares. In fact, it's those passes that make the effect happen. So watch, see if you can spot the passes as you enjoy this performance in front of a live audience of Search and Destroy. All right, you're good. You came all the way from LA. This is my job. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> This is my actual job. <laughs> my mom thought it was amazing too. <laughs> you get paid for doing this? I get paid to breathe. <laughs> it's pretty hardcore. Pretty magical. And Wayne, are you a card player, my friend? No. Nope. Because this is your moment. You must save the people of Sparta. Okay, I will. I'll do my best. Let's see. Take the cards. Hold them in dealing position. Let's see how you do that. And then just cut the deck. <coughs> Complete the cut. Wasn't that great? Give him a round of applause. This is Wayne's that trick. Was a nice He's the one that's gonna. <laughs> so Wayne is gonna find the card, but first I'm gonna show you what it looks like so you can see what everyone has to look forward to. It's pretty exciting, okay? okay. Twyla, take a card. You want me to close my eyes? No, not this time. Not this time. Soon. Soon, my friend. Everybody. Oh, she leave. gave you a mean look. Twyla did? Yes. Why? She didn't like her card. Oh, well, you know, it's not really, it's, it's not always about you. <laughs> okay, 98% of the, next one will be for you. Play the back. She's tapping my foot under the Is she? Like, one, two, three. <laughs> Four, five, six. All right, here's the trick that Wayne is going to accomplish for us all. A king goes on the top, a king goes on the bottom. One, two, three. Ooh, a king in the middle? Depends, what was your card? Queen of Hearts. 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 Now I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute, that was sleight of hand, prestidigitation, rapid finger movements, a little bit of the whatnot, if you know what I mean. Oh, and I think you do. <laughs> You're no stranger to the hokey pokey. <laughs> Turn yourself around, brah. Okay, so, what's your name? Sue. Sue? Ooh, lawyer? Okay. Say stop. Stop. Take the card out. Look at it. Don't show it to Wayne. Don't show it to me. Show it to the camera. Show it to the peeps at home. Show it to Wayne over there by the camera. Not me. Not me. Show it that way. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? Don't look. Welcome. Thanks for coming. Show it to those folks in the cheap seats. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Place it back. Excellent. Twyla, how far down in the deck would you say that card is? It's down in there. Half-ish? No, not half-ish. Further than half-ish. Deep. No. Two-third-ish. Right, right Two right she is a tough there. customer. A tough you customer. are screwed because she's tough. And now she's working on you, not me. <laughs> now you see what happens. All right, it's getting a little right into you. Okay, so here we go. 
Yes, yes, I will. All right, check it out. Wayne's about to have his first lesson in how card tricks work. What the Spanish call cartomagia concepcional. <laughs> conceptual card magic. It's all in how you look at it. It's not so much about finding the right card as about eliminating all the wrong ones. Right, let it sink in. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'll take the king and I'll eliminate a few cards near the bottom of the deck. And I'm gonna eliminate a few cards near the top of the deck. Just like so. That leaves approximately 45 cards left for Wayne to eliminate all by himself, okay? All right. Good luck. <laughs> See you after the show. <laughs> Wayne. Do you have a magic word you like to use in situations just like this? Help, Aaron. <laughs> he said help, Aaron. Oh. I'm trying to help him. I want him to name a magic word. Do you have a magic word? Help, Aaron. Help, Aaron. Okay, I like it. I like it. Take the deck. Help, Wayne. <laughs> That's my magic word. All right, what I want you to do is cut the deck. Complete the cut. Say the magic word. Help Aaron. Now he was good. It was good, wasn't it? But it was. I think he was maybe. You know, he wasn't that confident yet. Yeah, it was withholding. He was. It was emotional tyranny. You were withholding. <laughs> so the moment he said that, the cards moved down in the deck. Everybody, check it out. Hope you can see it. They moved down right to where you mentioned, around two thirds down. Those kings have moved down in the pack. I know. Shut the front door. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. So check this out, check this out. How many cards would you say are in between those two kings? Six. Give or take, right? We, we don't need those. She said six. <laughs> it was close. Well, between the two kings. No, that's perfect. You did good. You did good. I know everyone's the camera. Everyone feels pressure. <laughs> How do you think I feel? Not you, no. not me either. I don't care. All right. <laughs> well, he finds a card, we'll go hang out. <laughs> he might not like it. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> not to Thank him. You. <laughs> All right, here we go. Take the cards, take the king's cards inside, square them up. Dealing position. You're doing good. Now cut the deck. Complete the cut. Put your hands like that. And say the magic word with intensity. Oh, help, Aaron. <laughs> In some cultures, we'd be married now. Now, my friend. I could say it three times and we'll be divorced. <laughs> well, let's finish the trick first. Focus. Will you get the check? <laughs> Sir, I'm about to climax and you're stepping on it. Please, let me climax in peace. <laughs> Spread them, the cards. <laughs> in your hands, in your hands, in your hands. Larry. Check this out, check this out, everybody. Check this out. One card in between the two kings in Wayne's hand. Now, what was the name of the card? What was the name? Who selected? You selected a card, yes? What was it? Ten of clubs. Ten of clubs. Now, if Wayne has found the ten of clubs, are you going to show him all the love you've been withholding from me? Yeah. Right on. Show the love. <laughs> Let's hear it. Get that love ready. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your evening here. California Magic. Good night. I like Search and Destroy so much because the audience likes it so much. I mean, at this point, I pay my bills by doing magic, both stand up and on stage, and sometimes I take students or people fly out and work with me for a few days, but primarily, I'm a performer, an entertainer. And there's a lot of room for audience interaction, a lot of room for them to talk back, a lot of room for me to play off what they say when they talk back. And at the end of it, there's a powerful, strong effect. If you watch the performance of the trick that we, we shot, you can see how I work. I'm very much about interaction. I'm very much about letting the people participate and making it about their party. I mean, that's real close-up magic. It's not this formal close-up show, which is a real unique kind of close-up performance, which pretty much only exists in the Magic Castle and very other rarefied situations. But generally speaking, close-up magic is about a party. That's why when I can, I sit down, just like what I found the greatest restaurant magicians ever used to do. They used to sit down. Almost all of them sit down. You join the people, you pull up a chair, and then you join the group, and then we have a party. And it's only a party if people talk back. 
and my job is to respond to what they say and keep the train moving and hopefully keep the effect on track and so it comes to a strong conclusion and everyone has a wonderful exhale and a really satisfying experience and you know this is a trick that really allows you to do that. The first ace and he palms it in his hand like this. Can you see it here? How about this side? Okay. Now, what that does, that tells me the card's in the right position. Once you get the card in this position, you just take and set it down on the table. That's the first one. So that's the two. We'll start with the ace of hearts. Can everyone see the ace of hearts? Look, all I do is give a little touch like that, and the first ace will change to a king. That's one. I'll do it again. Watch the second one. The next one goes a little bit visually, just like that. And then we get the second king. Thank you. That's king number two. That leaves two aces left. Watch. All we do is snap, and now we have the kings. But, no, 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 it gets better. You can just press the little reset button, and those cards go back to what they were in the beginning. Thank you. Would you please pick one, too? Any card you like. Yes, you can take it out. It's okay. I work here. Take it out. Yes, look at it. Show it around to everyone, but don't let me see it, and I won't look, because I know the trick, and it's, it really is a good one. Put it in there, anybody you like. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to find both cards. And uh, who should we find first? We'll find your card first. Name your card. What was it? Six of Diamonds. I think that one's right here in my pocket. Thank you. Thank you. Watch close, David. Watch the white knife change places with the black knife. Now, yeah. no, no, no. That might have been too fast. Let's do it one more time. Watch close. David, if the white one's here, I'll give you $100 if you find the black one. I'll give you a hint. Okay? Which hand? Oh, I'm sorry, Dave. See, I don't have a black knife. All we have is two white knives. Okay, I know, I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. Bill, why are you so depressed? <laughs> the reason is, I just got word my uncle just died in a helicopter. It got too cold, he turned off the fan, the whole thing went down. <laughs> but I think I can still get through this. I really... Oh, you all right? Okay. All right, we're going to start off. I'm going to teach you guys a little secret that is not well known, even by magicians. And it's happening in every casino today. It's a new way to mark cards. Now, I'm going to let you in on this, but I don't want you telling your friends, oh. okay? You don't have any, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, all right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you. I have the four aces from this deck of cards marked, and I don't know if you can see this, but each one is marked. You can't see it now. You've got to look at it from the other side, from the back. Look, if you take your hand and just snap your finger, you can see the marks. That's one. That's how you can see it. Every time I make a sound, that makes the mark appear. That's two. Now, if you don't make any sound at all, you can't see anything. But as soon as you do this, you can see the last one. Now, wait a minute. I cheat in the trick. And not only do I cheat in the trick, but I also cheat at cards, too. Oh, yeah. Yes. Right. Bill Malone. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, huh? Pretty good, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm working. I'm working. All right, now there's another way that they cheat too, and I wasn't going to tell you this, but since you're a pretty good audience, I'm going to tell you the other one. They do a thing called palming cards, really. Yeah, all the cheaters do it. No. No, no but it sounds good for the tape. All right, so <laughs> here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how a dealer in Las Vegas or Atlantic City would palm cards. We're going to take out the four aces again just for a demonstration. There's the spade. There's the club. There's the, you should have two more, there's the diamond, and there's the heart, okay? Now, watch this close. This is a little demonstration with the four aces, okay? Mm -hmm. So we have the ace of spade, the club, the diamond, and the heart. Now, here's what's going to happen. The dealer starts off by dealing three cards out. He takes the first ace, and he palms it in his hand like this. Can you see it here? No. How about this side? <laughs> okay. Now, what that does, that tells me the card's in the right position. Once you get the card in this position, you just take and set it down on the table. That's the first one. So that's the two red and the two black. I'll do it again. Watch close. This time we'll make the ace of spade jump from here and join the two red ones over here in my hand. Watch close. Remember, the red are here and the black are here. We'll take the next black one like this. All you do is palm it and be honest. Can you see it there? No. You just take and you set it down just like that. Oh, That's no. ace number three. No. Now, that leaves one ace left, the ace of clubs. The three aces are here. Remember, there's three aces here. The last ace goes the hard way this time, all the way from the deck. Look, all I do is I press down. So now I have it. 
Now comes one of the most difficult gambling moves in all of Las Vegas, the palm-to-palm -palm transfer. You take the card and you transfer it to the other hand. You don't believe me. You don't believe me, but look, it's not there anymore. All we do is that, and that's one, two, three, no. and four. Yes! Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'll tell you what. We have time for another one. Let's try something. Would you do me a favor? Would you shuffle the cards, John? I want to see how lucky you would be in a card game, and I can tell by watching your shuffle. Oh, that's very good. Do it one more time. Um, that's very good. Okay. I, I can tell by his shuffles that he'd be very lucky. I'll show you why. Because what he did was he magically just shuffled an ace <laughs> to the top of the pack. That was very good. You know, most people Thank can't you. do that. I'm very, very proud of you. Okay. <laughs> if you want to get the second ace, all you have to do is take a card like the Nine of Diamonds, give it a little shake, and you can find the second ace. That's card number two. If you reach down here in the center, that's card number three. That's the ace of spades. And the last one, that makes card number four. You are a very lucky person. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. You mind if I, you mind if I sit down and join you for a minute? Okay. A trick isn't too much fun, which is four cards. So we're going to also remove the four kings from the deck, and we're going to use eight cards in this particular trick. Now, the object is to just watch the cards close. We have the king of spade, king of club, king of heart, and the king of diamonds over here. And over here, we have the spade, the club, the heart, and the diamond. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to confuse you just a little bit. So watch my hands close. We'll start off. Here's the four aces, and the aces go over here to my right. The four kings go on the opposite end to the left. But look, if I just rub, oh. these change to the kings, <laughs> and the aces come over here. Now, you know what it is. That was easy because I, I did them all at once. I'll try it again, but this time we'll do them one at a time. So the four kings start off on the left, and the four aces start off over here in the hand. Now, it's important that you watch these cards one at a time. We'll start with the ace of hearts. Can everyone see the ace of hearts? Yeah. Look, all I do is give a little touch like that, and the first ace will change to a king. That's one. I'll do it again. Watch the second one. The next one goes a little bit visually, just like that. And then we get the second king. Thank you. That's king number two. That leaves two aces left. Watch. All we do is snap, and now we have the kings. No. But, no, 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 it gets better. You can just press the little reset button, and those cards go back to what they were in the beginning. Thank you. So if those are the aces, then these, of course, are the kings, and that's a little trick. For four yeah. kings. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, okay, we've been having fun so far, right? We've been having a pretty good time. But I think it's time. Let, I'll let you make a choice. Would you guys like to see a good trick or a bad trick? It's up to you. What do you want to hear? Okay, I heard a bad one. I heard a bad one. Okay, let's do, let's do one bad one, then we'll go back to the other ones. John, do me a favor. Just think of one of these in your mind. You got one? What color? Black or red? Now, there's no way I can know your card unless I can read your mind. Concentrate on the card. You got it? Think a little louder. That's good. Okay. No, that's not it. I have one card up here above all the rest. Name your card out loud. Right. Got it. Yes. Bill Molo. Thank you. I did get it. See, it was right there. I told you I had it. But you have it. I kept another one here, too, just in case I missed. You never know. Thank you. <laughs> <All right. laughs> wow, I must have coughed up four decks today. Okay, I know. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Bill, we're sick and tired of these card tricks. Let's do something else. So we're going to try a trick with a book of matches. And I know what you're thinking. What can you do with a book of matches, right? Start a fire, maybe. Yeah. Start a fire. Or you could do a good trick. So I'm going to open the matches. Here's what I'm going to do, and I want you to watch me closer, David. I'm going to remove two of the matches like this. That's one, and that's two. Now, the rest of the matches we don't need, so what we'll do is we'll get rid of them. We'll get rid of them because we don't need these anymore, okay? So we don't need these, and we don't need this one. So we'll make that one go first because we don't need it anymore. That's important. Now, I'm going to let these just cool off just for a second, just like this. And what I'd like you to do, John, is just hold out your fist and pick up your thumb. Okay? What's John? John. I'm sorry. I keep calling him David. I'm sorry, John. All right, keep your fist up. What are you, what are you going somewhere? All right. Put your thumb down on the mattress. Why don't you just go along and be John? You know what I'm saying? Why do you got to keep bringing this up? All right. All right. Now, keep it like that. Oh, John's the only one that laughs, too. Jeez. All right. Okay. Hold him just like that. I don't even know what we're doing right now, but watch this close. Two little matches. Watch this. This is going to amaze you. Watch. One goes here, and one goes here. We wiggle the thumbs, and they change places. This one's here. This one's there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay? All right. Whatever your name is, we'll do it again. Watch close. 
<laughs> Look, one goes here, one goes here, just the wiggle, and now they both come across. Now, please, hey, it's get better. It gets better. How many of you have seen the magicians on television, like David Copperfield, uh, yeah. David Blaine, Bill Malone, those kind of guys? Did you ever? <laughs> Did you ever see the trick where they take those big steel rings and they make them link together? Well, I do the same trick with little bitty matches. I make them actually link right through each other. Look, right through the center. Now, there's not too much you can do with these matches besides linking and unlinking them. So really, we don't need them anymore. We don't need them. Or do we? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, we might need them later. You never know. Leave no go there. Way. Leave go, David. No way. Oh! Right. Take those out. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Stop it. Stop it. Fine. Right. We will do another one, and I will try to remember John's name is David. All right. Here we go. This is a little trick, and this is a little trick. This is done with two pocket knives, okay, David? We have a black one on the left and a white one on the right. Now, it's important that all of you remember that, black on the left, white not on the right, okay? Watch this. If I take the white one in this hand and give a shake, they'll change places. Now, that might have been too fast. I'll do it again. Watch close, David. Watch the white knife change places with the black knife. Oh, now, yeah. No, no, no. That might have been too fast. Let's do it one more time. Watch close. David, if the white one's here, I'll give you $100 if you find the black one. I'll give you a hint. Okay? <laughs> Which hand? Oh, I'm sorry, Dave. See, I don't have a black knife. All we have is two white knives. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I feel, I feel a little guilty, so I will teach David or John or whatever, whoever he is, how to do the trick. John, do me a favor. Take the knife. Take the knife and do what I do, okay? Show the knife on both sides like that. That's good. That's good. Oh, man. Okay, place it in your other hand. Make a fist. Push it out, it turns black. Now, you can do that this way, too. You can place it, push it out, it turns white. Touch it, it turns black. Touch it again, it turns white. Do this, it turns black. Do this, it should turn white. And now, and then you push it through again, and, it's black, and now you do this. And then, no, that's good, it's white. That's good. He did it, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not, it gets better, David. See, if you do like this, if you give it a little touch, and you push it through, now it's black and white. See, that's even harder. Here, you try this one. Maybe you have the wrong knife. You try that. Go ahead, just push it through. You know what it might be? It's, maybe it's the size. This one is just a little too big. With this kind of, yeah, that's better. Tell you what, David, what is your favorite color? Name your favorite color. Blue. Oh, it blew away. Sorry, David. It's the only color right out there. Thank you very much. Folks, hope you enjoyed the show. I'm going to Um, the next trick is maybe a trick that you know already, because this is a trick that when you ask somebody to do a trick, they always usually do this trick, and I'm not sure if I can remember it, but I'll try my best, okay? It's called the four burglar trick. Have you ever heard of this trick? It's a really well-known popular trick. I'll show you how it works if I can remember it. You start off with four cards, and I use the aces. Now, the aces are going to represent four burglars. The deck will represent the apartment building that they're going to rob. So what happens, the first ace goes in on the first floor. The second ace goes in on the second floor. The third, was it the third? Yeah, the third ace goes in on the third floor. And the last ace goes, oh, yeah, it goes, I know, I know the trick. The last <laughs> ace goes in on the fourth floor. What happens is... Somebody calls the police, the police comes, and they come up to the top of the roof, and all four jacks, or four aces, come back up to the top. And that, no, wait, that wasn't it. I remember the burglars were jacks. That's what, oh. now I remember. I couldn't remember what that was, but that's, now that I do it, I kind of, you know what I mean, it kind of takes you a while, and then you realize that, 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 that because if you put them in, you turn them, you get, that's what you remember, you know what I mean? And sometimes it takes a really long time. Yeah. remember that particular thing. All right. Yes. Thank you. Now we're going to try something a little harder this time. We'll have two cards picked. Would you do me a favor, uh, John, as I go through the deck, just touch the back of any card. Okay, and I'm going to show you that card, and I want you to remember it. I'll also show it to everyone else. And I want you to make sure, I want you to watch your card close and make sure that it's going into the deck, and I don't hold my fingers in there or anything. I mean, I tried to, but it just at the last minute it came out. And uh, so you're pretty much gone. And would you please pick one, too? Any card you like. Yes, you can take it out. It's okay. I work here. Take it out. Yes, look at it. Show it around to everyone, but don't let me see it, and I won't look, because I know the trick, and it's, it really is a good one. Put it in there, anywhere you like. 
Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to find both cards, and uh, who should we find first? We'll find your card first. Name your card. What was it? Six of Diamonds. I think that one's right here in my pocket. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, no. Don't applaud. I keep another one. I keep another one in this pocket. That should look familiar. <laughs> See, just between us, it was an easy trick. I only had two, so it was an easy trick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to try something that even magicians like to see. This is a trick called an impossible card location, which means that even if a magician was watching, it would be hard to figure out the next trick. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, I want you to notice that the card really is a regular deck of cards, okay? You can see that. And they may be in some kind of order, so we'll make sure that the cards are shuffled. Give them a shuffle. Mix them up real good. And then we're going to have a couple cards. Try not to mix them. Oh, it's okay. Go ahead. You already did. It's okay. <laughs> Shuffle, shuffle, just shuffle, shuffle. I hate when they do that, David. I really do. All right. Did you mix them up? And I want you to, when you're done shuffling, put them on a table, give them a cut, and complete the cut, just so you know that I don't know the top card, the bottom card, or my mother's middle name, pretty much. I don't know where that came from, but I said it. Okay. Pick up the cards, and what I would like you to do is take the cards. It's okay. Deal them one at a time down onto the table. Now, the whole trick is up to you. You can deal as long as you want, or else you can stop whenever you want. And when you stop, I'll give you instructions. Okay. okay, take a look at the card you stopped on, remember what it is, mm -hmm. and then put it back and drop the rest of the deck on top, okay? And drop the rest of the, these on top. Okay, now can you remember another card? Let's do it again, same thing as before. Pick up the cards and let's try to get it over real quick. Just yield them down, stop whenever you want, it doesn't matter, okay. and remember the card. Take a look at it, remember what it is, put it back and drop the rest of the deck on top. So you have to admit there's no way that I can find those two cards, right? There, there really is no way. Do me a favor, cut the cards just to make sure, okay, and I will try to find both cards. I want you to just look into my eyes. Not my thighs, my eyes, sir. Thank you. Okay, that's one. Uh, take your glasses off, please. Um, okay, I think I got it. Two cards. Under impossible circumstances, would you for the first time name the cards? Six of hearts. And? Nine of hearts. Yes. No, I got it. I got it. Yes! yes. Fill my love! Fill my love! Yeah, baby! Right. Impossible location. Impossible. That was impossible. <laughs> that was impossible. Oh. Thanks a lot. Okay. All right. All right. Please. All right. I know what you're thinking. I've been hearing the rumors around the room that, hey, Bill, sure, you can find his card, you can find his card, but they're probably in your family. You're right, they are. We're together. So what I'm going to do, what I'll do is I'm going to let a bunch of you take a card. I'll tell you what, everybody right in front of me, just pick out any oh, card. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Odds are against me finding them anyway, so just pick out a card. And everyone, I'd like you to please remember them. Let's make it harder. Would you please pick one, too? How you doing? Good, wow, those are nice nails. <laughs> wow, are they yours? Those are so cool. And Nicole, would you please pick a card? And what is your name? Elizabeth, take out any card. And I like everyone, please remember your cards. You can show them around if you want. It really doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cards back. Don't forget your card, and you can put yours back. Thank you very much. Thank you. Just all I ask is that you remember your cards. Don't yell them out. Don't tell them to anyone around you, because I don't want you to later on say that I heard you say the cards. Now, it's important that whenever you do this trick, the cards are shuffled. So we're going to shuffle up the cards. And a lot of times, magicians cheat. They don't really shuffle. So I'm going to add just a few more cards to make this even impossible. Uh-huh. I can see by the looks on your faces, you're pretty amazed already. Here, I'll tell you what, let's really mix them. Let's mix them all up so there's no way we can know where they are. And I will take that, and I will put that right back up here, okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to find each card one at a time. Let's start with uh, card number one. Elizabeth, let's start with your card. Would you, for the first time, in a loud voice, just call out the name of your card? Three of hearts, that's right about here. That should be, yes, got it. That's the first one. They get a lot harder as they go along. Uh, Nicole, would you please name yours next? Five of clubs. Five of clubs, that's a good one. That's right about there. That's the five of clubs. Uh, the next card is a little harder. The next card comes from the middle of the deck. Would you name your card, please? King of clubs, king of clubs come out, there we go. That's the uh, king of clubs. Thank you very much, I work here. And uh, David, remember your card? Yes. I think it was right here. That's the eight of hearts. Did I get it? Yes. You know, okay. Well, look amazed by this, will you? Okay. While I'm doing that, John's card went over here to this pocket. Um, your card I can't find because it's under my drink, so that makes it that makes it a a lot harder. Card number seven. Card number seven went over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong pocket. Card number seven went over here to this pocket, 
And here's card number eight. And that's all the cards. Cards are gone. Thank you very much. Now let's just say there were a few leaks in security at that time. So all I had to do was have a boat ready for him. And he said he'd handle the rest. Charlie wasn't a guy that stayed in any one place for too long. He had a knack for making things seem like something they weren't, if you know what I mean. I had heard that Charlie had three coins on him at the time of his arrest. Now, I don't know nothing about nothing, but I do know that he wanted them back. And a little birdie told me that they were in a safe deposit box at the Bank of Petaluma. So that's where he was headed. See the coins. Oh, come on. <laughs> Charlie, let me see the coins. <laughs> Why always messing with that magic stuff anyway? Because you never know when you're going to need it, Tommy. <laughs> right on time. Two tunes here. Tommy, Tommy's my wheels. Not for nothing, but the cops went 50 miles in the other direction. You're welcome. Now, where's my coin? Your coin? Oh, you want your coin? You mean that coin? Or did you want that coin? Maybe you wanted that one. You see, that coin, see, that coin belongs to Tommy. So maybe you meant one of these two coins, right? You can't have that one because, see, that one belongs to me. So maybe you meant that coin, right? But you know, you can't have that one either. Because this is a cash deal. Coins stay here. Tommy, that took guns. Yeah. So what do you say we finish this up here, Charlie? You got it. All right. One coin. Ah, thank you. Tommy. Yeah. Look at your coin. What's this? Remember, you never know. <laughs> Never know. 
That was the story of the covert coins. A few years later, Charlie was picked up again for trying to pull a switch on an undercover cop in a Chinatown laundromat. But something tells me we haven't seen the last of Charlie Justice. Hey, check it out, Anthony. Uh, a little Corona bottle. Go ahead and look at that. Hand it on over if you want. How about this? The caps. I got a couple caps. Can you put the cap in the bottle? Yeah, it's been. I put it in. Yeah, here. I'll tell you what. I'll bend it for you. It was already bent, though. Now I'll put it in. Okay. Cool. I got another cap here. Check out the cap. Make sure it's totally normal. Yeah, it's straight. We good? Here we go. Hold on to that for me. Okay. We'll put that one right on top. Feel that? Okay. Nice and tight. Here yeah. we go. Check it out. Oh. That's, 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 uh, that's, uh, that's, 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 I don't know how you did that, but, uh, damn. <laughs> That, that's pretty cool though. That's, that's, that's hot right there. I'm, I'm damn, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he done messed me up, man. Uh, Alright, check it out, man. Phil, we got a bottle. What do you think? Uh, it looks like a bottle of Corona. Here you go. It appears to be. Hey, okay. check it out. Uh, beer cap, Ben, in the Corona. In the Corona. Nice job. Uh, I'm not sure, but go <laughs> check it out. <laughs> Pray tell. All right. Hang on. Okay, what, well, you want it back in? It doesn't matter. Well, yeah. <laughs> Inspect that. I mean, you want to you want to put it back in? We'll put it back in. Okay, whatever. Inspect it. Your standard Corona beer cap. Is that good? Uh, appears to be. Indeed, it does. Hold on to that. Okay, hold on to that. There we go. All right, Bill, let me have that. May I? Uh, yes, you may. May I? Ready? Shazam! <laughs> that is awesome. That, 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 is, that is tremendous, man. How you doing, Charlie? Jana. Jana, pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. Check it out. Corona beer bottle. Corona bottle. <laughs> I got a couple of caps here too. Do me a favor. Stick the bat stick the cap in the bottle. Yeah, it's not possible. No, actually it is, sweetheart. Look. Boom. Boom. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> here, check that out. Check out that cap. Everything good? Good. Watch. I'm gonna put this cap on. I got a lighter here. You know if you heat it up just a little bit. Watch. That was pretty cool. Do that again. I was here with her mom. Why don't you move over here and do it this way so you can see it. Check it out. It's a bottle. Clear bottle. I'll use one of your bottles, but that one's clear. You see it. It's crystal clear. Um, and it's a, a cap. Go ahead and shake it around. Make sure everything's cool there. Right. And then I have a... Make sure that's normal. Now watch carefully. If you close it up like this, can you feel that? On there pretty good? Alright. Watch carefully. There you go. Take that home and use it as a bell. It's mine now. Oh my god. Jay Jay. Jay Jay. Jay Jay. Jay Jay. Uh, can I borrow the beer bottle? Cool. Uh, check it out, JJ. Uh, you know what? Here's the beer bottle. Look at it. Shake it. <laughs> beer bottle. Can you put the beer cap in the beer bottle? Good. Can I, can I bite it in half? No, but I'll tell you. <laughs> check it out, JJ. You can actually bend it and put it in the beer bottle. Yep. Here, check it out. Check it out. Good. Beer cap in the beer bottle. Leave that cap over there. Watch. It's not on permanently, but it's on, right? Maybe the uh, watch out. 
Watch careful. Get that! <laughs> Get that! There you go. That's incredible. You can keep that. <laughs> Thanks, JJ. Very good. Appreciate yeah. it. Nice job. Thank you. That was awesome. perform the effect for her and then I'm going to go step through step uh, on teaching her so I'm going to show her it now all right do me a favor um that's yours okay I just hold it you just hold it okay okay <laughs> but the pressure's on you okay so if this doesn't work all right this is what I want you to do um, right. bring it out so you don't get the floor wet or anything just put it over the bowl okay um, this is what I want you to do. I want you to put your fingers right over top of it, just like that. Okay? Yep. Am I gonna get wet? If you mess up, you're going to. <laughs> Alright, ready? What I need you to do, slowly, is turn the bottle upside down. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're gonna feel some water come out, okay? Yeah. Now on the count of three, <laughs> on the count of three, I want you to slowly lift it. Ready? One, two, three. Lift it. Look. Keep lifting it, keep lifting it. Lean over, lean over. Look it's inside the bottle. Keep picking it up. Keep picking it up. See, it just froze there. Tilt it is towards it? the camera. Tilt it towards the camera. It's, okay. Oh my gosh. Here, check this out. Ready? Put it upside down okay. again. Ready? I want you to concentrate. Hold it tighter. Okay. Tighter, tighter. Oh my gosh. Take a look. Put your finger inside there. Rub around. There's nothing in there. No. Weird.
This is the very first time I've ever showed my folks, my worst critics, fallen. Let's go see. This is a new <laughs> trick I've been working on my watch. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> Mother, touch any single card you want. Do you want to use, is that the one you want? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Sign it. Put your lovely name on it. It's my mom's new signature. <laughs> Look, we'll take the card. Card goes in. Uh, let's go a little more down. Perfect. Does that look good? Mm -hmm. I want you to watch. I'm gonna explain how I do this. Let me explain how I do this, hold on. Um, what's happening is the card's coming to the top, but I'm not making the card actually rise. Okay. Okay. Everybody thinks that one single card lifts up through the deck. Nay. No. No, no. no. What happens is the rest of the deck actually falls through the card. Okay. Yeah. It sounds a little more complicated because it sounds harder, tough. Reversed. Yeah, reversed, because I have to get, I have to manipulate about 26 cards as opposed to just one. All right. But that's really what happens. Let me show you what I mean. If you look at it at an angle like this, you actually see it. Oh, oh. Come all the way up. Oh. I saw that go up. Yeah. Oh. You saw it go up. Oh, the, no, you, you, you want, down to it. Do you want to explain? You explain to them what happened. I can't. No, explain. <laughs> explain to them what happened. I can't. What did I you see? No what did you idea. see? What did you see? Well, I just saw that the car was in the middle of the deck, mm -hmm. more towards the bottom, and it just slowly went up. Or the deck slowly went down. <laughs> One of the two. I can't explain it. Good. Very good. It's falling. So, uh, let's try this out. Your cards, yes? Yeah. Your cards. I borrowed these from you. I'm not, okay. you know, nothing, nothing funny. Charles, help me out here. Okay. Uh, I need you to take the card out for me. You gotta take it all the way out. You got it? I want this to be exactly different than the rest of this, all right? Okay. I want it to be very different. So I need you to sign your name all the way across the card. That way there's no card in the world like this. Are you good? Good. Everybody got Charles' card? All right, Charles, this is what we'll do. Uh, I'm gonna try this as fair as possible, all right? Okay. With your cards. Okay, Charles has got your name on it. Okay, check this out. The card goes, let's go a little bit lower. Into the middle of the deck. All right, there we go, check it out. Watch the cards. All I have to do is just rub. Actually get the card to melt. So you have one card on top. Boom, Charles's card just like that. Go down to the bottom. You got it? Are you good? Uh, sign your name across the card. Here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Take it, sign it. Is that your name? Well. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. So now, I mean, this is obvious, yes? Yes. That's your card. You can tell because of the signature. Yes. Um, and there's no other card in the world that looks uh, like this, all right? Watch. We'll take the five, all right? The five's gonna go in. Right there. Can you see it? Uh-huh. It's in the deck, uh -huh. all right? Watch. Can you see the card? Uh-huh. All you do is rub. You can make the card sink and melt all the way through. Just like so, look. One card and one card only. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> All the way. Oh my goodness, did you blow your mind? <laughs> All the way to the. Oh, oh, thank oh you. <laughs> the card was in the middle of the deck. Right. You just kept rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. And I couldn't quite tell at first what you were doing. Uh -huh. I thought, like, I didn't know what you were doing. But then I could tell that the card was rising to the top. Like, I didn't even realize what he was doing while he was doing it. I didn't, I mean, like all of a sudden then it was just on the top. Uh, Surprise yourself. I do, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put one more van behind the other, okay? So you can see, check it out. I can dig it. 
Yeah, you can just talk. I'm, I'm not, look, I'm going to be fair about it. I want you to see everything, all right? I want you to see it all. You can see I can't come out of the sides, okay? I can't come out of the middle, okay? Check it out. All you have to do is find the soft spot. What? Just like that, we can actually get what? the rubber bands to pass right through each other. We'll try it again. We'll, we'll try it again. Check it out. We'll try it again. I've had a guy working this whole crowd, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold out your fingers like this. You can point them in. Curl them up. Awesome. We're going to put that right there. Take your thumbs and put your thumbs right on top. That way I can't come across. All right, come this way a little bit. That way we can get the camera here. Beautiful. You can see. Now there's no doubt, right? Seriously, I mean, you're not going to let go. I can't let go of the band's going to fly off, all right? Uh, the hard part's actually finding a soft spot. The soft spot's right here, watch. Whoa! This time, I'm not going to do both of them, okay? I'm not going to do both bands. Uh, everybody's seen both bands. Both bands are really easy, okay? You could, uh, I can do that all day long, all right? We're going to do, uh, we'll do one band at a time, okay? One band at a time, watch. All you have to do... Is touch. You can actually get one of the bands to go right through the other. You can see it. Just linked through. Watch. Just blow. See, so just like that. <laughs> get the bands to come right apart. Listen, from the bottom of my heart, you can have that. Thank you. <laughs> Check them out. Look at them. Stretch them. Make sure those are note holders. That's what those are. Otherwise known as rubber bands. Are we good? Let's, look, we'll do like this. Look. I'm gonna put a rubber band on one finger, a rubber band across the other fingers. Okay? So now, if I was insane, if I was to lose my mind, then I pretty much couldn't get out of this. <laughs> it's kind of like a little pair of handcuffs almost. Right. Okay? There's really no way that you, can, that you can pull it through. Now you have to find a soft spot. There's a soft spot right there. find a soft spot, you can actually get the rubber bands to go right through the soft spot. I uh, know it's kind of quick, so I'll tell you what. Hold out your fingers like this. Turn your fingers in. Curl them. Put your fingers on top. Your thumbs on top like that. Beautiful. And stretch it out. Right there. Exactly. So now there's no way, see? Now you're in control. No matter where you pull, you can't find it. Now you have to find the soft spot, which is right here. that so you can actually get it get it to go through <laughs> now that's using that's using two so I'll tell you what here let's do this it's using two this time we're just gonna try just one all right okay just one so that, no no, no I'm, I'm the standard <laughs> I'm trying to get I'm trying to get in for the camera here uh, that's using two now we want to get we want to get just uh, one to pass as opposed to the two all right so watch one two like that so you can actually get one band to pass through. You can see it going through. Just blow. It's come right it's off. my magic breath. <laughs> <laughs> All the way. Right there. Perfect. Watch. You good? Tell me if you feel anything. Push, Haley. Push. Push. Satan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>Donna, we've kind of migrated a little bit yeah. <laughs> uh, because we're going to use uh, we're going to use this door. Okay? okay, we're going to use the door. Now we're going to try something that's kind of difficult. Okay, mm -hmm. so what I need you to do is take a card out. Okay, you got it. Got it. Ooh. Show everybody the card. Are you good? Yeah, got it. All right, perfect, perfect. And uh, actually, lose your card back inside the deck. Great. You shuffle the cards up. What I need you to do is I need you to hold the cards 
up here. Let's actually, let's do it this way. You can see your handprint. Mm -hmm. Hold the cards. Yeah, and hold them and kind of spread them out a little bit. You got it? Mm -hmm. Perfect. And put them right here. And push. Are you good? <laughs> Are you pushing? Different. I want you to watch, okay? Everything's good? Your card's lost inside. I can see your card on the other side of the glass. Oh my god, oh my god. Was that it? Yes! How did, how, oh my god! Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> how does he do that? That's unbelievable! Well, what exactly did you see? Like, oh, whenever the card was coming through, well, what I did you see? Only, well, you, I kind of, it felt like you were pulling, you, it felt and looked like you were pulling it through, because I could kind of see it coming over, like, a little bit at a time. Very cool. Very cool. Thank you very much. Dude, that's wicked awesome! Oh my gosh! Dude, that is so wicked! What, what? It's fire song! Steve, help me out, sir. Uh, take a card. He's waiting this time. <laughs> he wants to go in there. Look at it. Remember it. Is it good? Uh, so you have your card? Mm -hmm. um, and if you could, sir, place your card. Great. Now, it wasn't the Eight of Diamonds, hopefully. Yes? No, it wasn't. Okay. Um, if he took the deck away from you now, would you still be able to do the trick? Not really, because we're going to need it. <laughs> no, no, I mean, if somebody else held the deck. Held the deck? Or did yeah, totally, watch. Shuffle Yeah, just, just shuffle them together. Perfect. Is that good? Is that good? Perfect? All right. Uh, so he's handled the cards. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, is that fair for you? <laughs> She's like, yeah, a little bit. That's <laughs> that'll work. All right. Uh, so you're gonna be the. You're gonna be now. I'm gonna need you to uh, to play close attention, and, and all you guys are gonna do this as well. Uh, we're gonna use you. So please uh, stand over here, and I'm gonna have you uh, kind of go this way in a in a moment. That way, everybody else can see. Okay. okay? All right. So stand right here. All right. If I could walk through this glass right now, that would be pretty good, huh? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> no, I can't do that. <laughs> it's magic, not miracles. There's <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a, there's a difference. Um, but I do need you to help me out. So, uh, this is what we'll do. You're going to hold out your hands for me. You got it? And hold on to the deck. But let's just kind of try to spread. No, no, don't worry about it. As long as it wasn't his card, was it your card? No. Okay. Let's kind of move some of these. You got it? Yeah, put your other hand up there. Put your other hand up there. That'd be good. You got it? Actually, come around this way so that you can hear it. Right there? Yeah, perfect. Just like that. Right there. You got them spread? All right. Watch. You shuffled the cards. Yeah? You took the deck. The card went in. You shuffled. Empty hands. All right? Watch. Was that it? <laughs> Good deal. All right, just drop him, man. Let him go. That's cool. Yeah, you don't need him. Very. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah, thanks a lot. Hey, thank you guys. Thank you. Please, uh, thank you. Then you manipulated, you were massaging the glass and pulled the king of clubs into your hand. And the card Now, could you, see the, could, you see, could you see the card coming out of the glass? I don't know how good the, 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 the good yeah. of the view was. Was you it? You could see it coming up. Oh, you could you see it coming up? Seeing coming up. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. <laughs> and I asked Steve if he could feel anything right. moving in the cards. And right. he said no. And he said no. Exactly. Wow. Oh, I think I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think somehow, okay, here's my idea, my theory. Somehow, <laughs> when you're behind the cards, mm -hmm. you went like that and you were like really focused and you took it from underneath your hat. And you put it on there and then we were, were watching him the whole time though. Well, we, Look, we can agree on that. Yeah, one because thing. he took him back. He's very, very good. Yeah, there's no question about that. There's no question about that. Well, I hope you, I hope you guys yeah, had a great time. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.